Safety is Chief Norman's biggest, I mean, he is all about safety. Um, when he first got here, we had two man engine companies. We had three stations, two man engine companies, which is not safe at all. The very first thing he did was shut down a fire station, which was not, you know, the, the citizens, you can imagine, were not terribly enthused to hear that. Shut down a fire station, made two three man engine, engine companies, and then we started from there. It's good to see him getting the recognition, I mean, especially for lifetime achievements. He's, he's had a number of noteworthy accomplishments in the eight years that I've known him. But, you know, Donnie continues to lead the way and is, is a, a mentor to many and a fine example of a fire chief that I think we're blessed to have. His professionalism, he's, he's very professional about everything. Um, he's very knowledgeable about everything. Off the clock, I, I, I often call him about my dad's a commissioner on another ESD, so I, I like to pick his brain about what's happening over there but he's just a very professional individual. After interviewing four or five different chiefs, uh, there was only one that uh, truly stuck out, and that was Donnie Norman, <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Uh, first of all, it was mentioned, his professionalism. Um, it's bar none. And so if you fast forward now, we have six fire stations, we have advanced life support uh, emergency medical services that we provide. We have ambulances. We were just awarded our uh, uh, state accreditation, our best practices. Chief Norman has really raised the bar for all of the employees at Travis County ESD 1 and 7. He is um, very pro-education. All of our firefighters and paramedics are cross-trained. The continuing education aspect is so important and he holds people accountable. Um, it is, it's just wonderful. And, and he does not do anything that he does not, he doesn't require anything of us that he hasn't already done before himself, whether it's a degree or classes or in some of the classes, fire chiefs don't need to take. Anytime a new certification comes out, even though it's really meant for the lower ranks, he's not gonna have the guys go do it unless he's got it. Um, so you fast forward now, you know, most of us, we're able to provide our families with a very comfortable living and it's a direct result of Chief Norman's leadership and his progressive thought process on the fire service and uh, his willingness to take care of his people. He's, he's pushed me in my career uh, to do things that I didn't know I would do. Uh, through education and I, I've noticed a huge difference with the command staff, especially the battalion chiefs and captains, a lot more professionalism. Uh, the, the education and training that they've all had is, is, is shown through uh, on all the scenes I've been on. So uh, again, with the education that we bring back from Fire Academy and different uh, entities, it's, it's very noticeable to me. I think that that fatherly role or that, that a role that he, he likes to, to take on instills um, the feeling of security, purpose, um, helps them to become driven, um, encourages them, like I said, to expand their education so that if one day they can't do the job, they can have something to fall back on. If it's a degree in underwater basket weaving, or if it's something that's in the fire science degree or something of that nature, he's there and instrumentally uh, behind them and giving them the tools they need to be successful in whatever they, whatever path they choose. His involvement with TIFMAS, the Texas uh, Interstate Fire Mutual Aid System and the support around Governor Abbott's Lone Star Initiative, the organization's been dedicating resources to that for months and, and re recently received some recognition for the excellent performance and some of the processes they brought to the party. So even there, he's singled himself out as, as someone who's kind of got exemplary business practices and um, noteworthy even at the state level. Job well done, excellent. He has been a very forward thinking, focused, wonderful part of Travis County ESD. Chief Norman has been a great mentor to me. Um, seven years that I've been working with him at Travis County ESD1 have been the best seven years of my 42, almost 43 year career. I'm uh, 
very grateful for the opportunity to learn from him um, and to call him a mentor and a friend.